What's up guys? Welcome back to Central City Barbecue. I'm Pitmaster James Cruz and in this week's video I'm changing things up a bit. If you don't look around, I'm not in the pit room at the restaurant. I'm here in my house in my own kitchen. It's cold outside and I'm cooking something that is perfect for cold weather. We're in the upper 30s down here in southern Louisiana. I'm cooking some chicken and sausage gumbo with that smoked chicken that I cooked last week on that gateway drum smoker. Man, let me tell you something. It's one of my favorite things. It's a Louisiana classic and I'm gonna show you the easy way to cook it. Look, before we get started, hit that subscribe button down below. If you haven't subscribed already, man, you're missing out. I'm cooking some barbecue. I'm cooking some Louisiana classics. We're having a good time. I'll be right back and prep some veggies. All right, guys, I've gathered all my ingredients for my stock. Look, it's super easy. I got two gallons of water. I've got a carrot. I've got three stalks of green onions, two stalks of celery, six cloves of garlic, three bay leaves, an onion, a bell pepper, and the carcass from, the smoke, from two smoked chickens, all right? So I'm about to meet you over there by the stove, about to get the stock started, be right back. Got the water in the pot, the oven set on high. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a simmer. Let's add this chicken. So we've got, we had the entire carcass of two whole chickens, two whole smoked chickens at that. Or watch last week's video, you see how I smoked these, these guys right here. Came out really nice on that gateway drum smoker. These guys are gonna bathe all night long. One whole onion. Quartered. One whole bell pepper cut up. Three stalks of green onions cut up. Two stalks of celery cut. One whole carrot cut up. Six cloves of garlic. Spread those around. Three bay leaves. And lastly, my favorite Creole seasoning right here. Cajun land, Cajun seasoning with green onion. We're gonna put about two teaspoons. This could just dust the top a little bit. All right, I'm gonna let this come up to a boil. I'm gonna reduce it down and let it simmer all night long. Well, the only thing left to do tonight is to let that pot come up to a boil. I'm gonna let it boil for about an hour. I'm gonna turn the burner down to low, put the lid on, tell it good night. We're we'll back in the morning. We're gonna start, we're gonna do our veggie prep. We're gonna cut up some meat, show you guys how to make a roux. We're making some gumbo. See you in the morning. That stock cooked all night long. I started at roughly eight o'clock last night. Six o'clock this morning, checked it, turned the heat off, and let it start cooling. I had to run to the restaurant for a little while to go take care of some stuff. I'm back, let's get this gumbo finished up. Man, check out that stock right there. It's got a great color, the aroma is unbelievable. Man, it tastes phenomenal as well. I also went ahead and prepped my ingredients for the gumbo. What I have here is three pounds of that smoked chicken, two pounds of smoked sausage sliced up, one whole large yellow onion chopped up, one green bell pepper diced, two stalks of celery diced, Three stalks of green onions diced up, four cloves of minced garlic, and two bay leaves. I'm gonna put this stuff off to the side, and we're gonna strain that stock, and then we're gonna start working on the roux, and then build on the gumbo. We'll be right back. All right, so what we have here is I've got my stock pot, I've got a strainer, I've got a clear container to have the stock going to, and I have a discard uh, bowl for all the bones. And this is super easy. Come in here, I don't mind grabbing chunks at all. I'm just gonna pour it through the strainer. Strain a little bit. Discard. Do it again. I'll pour the rest. I can't really get down there with the measuring cup, so let's get this in there. And whatever remaining scraps in there, I'm just gonna discard them after. So let's sit this around, let's get all this beautiful like, stock out of here. Alright. Go right there, we're gonna throw this stuff away. We're gonna let this rest. First thing we do is gonna start browning some sausage. All right, I've got the pot hot with a little oil in there. Let's brown the sausage up real quick. And what I'm looking for here is I wanna get a little color on the sausage, plus I wanna rid some of that fat because we're gonna use some of that fat when, when it comes to making the roux. Now that I've got some good color on this sausage, fat is rendered, I'm gonna start removing it and putting it in the bowl. Let it drain a little bit and we'll add it back to the gumbo later on. All right, let's start building this roux. I'm gonna start with one cup of cooking oil. We'll let that get hot, and then we'll add the flour. All right, that's where the fun begins. Now I'm adding a cup and a half of flour. Okay, so the key here is, gotta keep this moving. Keep it moving. Last thing you want is this thing uh, to burn on you. 
If it burns on you, you have to start completely over. All right, so this is after about 10 minutes. I'm going high heat and it's a good peanut butter color right now. What I'm looking for is a, not quite a dark chocolate color, but I want a good milk chocolate color. So I'm gonna keep stirring this. In the meantime, I put that stock in a uh, pot over here on the side and get it warmed up because I definitely don't want to add cold stock to this hot roux. All right, so this is 20 minutes in and you see we have a nice light brown color. Okay, it's really, it's starting to get there. I'm, I'm guessing we'll probably end up going about 45 minutes on this when we get that nice milk chocolate color. So let's check back in a minute. All right guys, it's been 30 minutes. Look at that. Ooh, getting very close. I mean, I can almost make it now, but I kind of want to go a little darker. Look at this, look how velvety that looks. Looks like as if I'm melting chocolate here. All right, let's come back in a few minutes and the next thing I'm going to do is going to add onions. All right, we're at 35 minutes in and I'm calling this root done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add onions. All right, there's two things it's going to do. One, I want to caramelize these onions and it's going to add a nice rich flavor to it. It's going to add a little bit more color and these onions actually slow down the cooking process of the roux itself. So let's get these guys stirred in. I want to get them really cooked down and caramelized and we'll be right back. These onions have been caramelized for about seven minutes and you wouldn't believe the smell in this kitchen right now between this roux and these onions caramelizing. It is unbelievable right now. So next thing I wanna add, I wanna add the green veggies. Let's go with the bell pepper. Celery. All right, let's mix these guys up. I'm gonna let these cook for about five more minutes. Next, let's add the garlic. Now I'm only gonna let this cook for about a minute because I definitely don't want these to burn. And what we're gonna do is after about a minute of cooking this, we're gonna start adding some of the broth. All right, so it's been about a minute. Let's add a little bit of this broth. I add about two cups. Let's get it mixed really, really well. Let's add about three more cups. All right, and here's the last of the broth right here. Let's get this mixed in. I'm gonna bring it up to a simmer and then we'll start adding the chicken and the sausage. All right, we've got a nice little simmer going. Let's add the sausage back to it. Now. Stir this up and then let's add the chicken. I realize the chicken's gonna be cold, so it's gonna drop the temperature of the gumbo. So what we're gonna do is add it all in, stir it up really good. and then raise the heat a little bit. I wanna get this thing back up simmering again. So now the gumbo is simmering with the chicken and sausage in it. I just tasted it, and at this point is when I started adjusting my seasonings. I don't wanna give set amounts on seasonings ahead of time because you really just don't know at first. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two tablespoons of the Cajun land and that stuff. One tablespoon of black pepper. A tablespoon of white pepper and a half a tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes and at that point I'm gonna taste it again and just see if I need to make any more adjustments on seasons. Now I realize don't get caught up in trying to add up all the seasons that I'm adding as I go. I'll do that for you in the description down below. So we'll be right back. All right, so I tasted it again. I felt like I needed a little more salt, a little more heat, but again this is a personal preference. If you guys taste it and it's fine where it is, leave it alone. But I'm gonna go ahead and add another tablespoon of Cajun land. And while I'm there, now I'm gonna go ahead and add the green onions. And two bay leaves. Stir this up. I'm gonna let this thing simmer for about two hours now. And then we'll eat later on. All right, we're just about done. Got about an hour left. It's been simmering for a couple hours now. Let's add one more thing to it. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of parsley. Get a little bit more herbs in it and let that simmer in there for about an hour to eat. The other thing I did was I made a little bit of a game time decision here. I wanted to add, I wanted a little bit more chicken, so I added about another pound of smoked chicken probably about a half hour ago. Now it's pretty meaty, it's where I want it. One more hour to go, we're eating. Well, this is it. Look at it. Yeah, look how pretty this stuff is right here. Man, man, man. Like my grandma used to say, hey, chef. But look, first I'm gonna do, I'll put some in a bowl. Look at this right here. Ooh, woo. Get one more scoop up in there. 
Man. Then I'm gonna add a little rice to it. A little rice right over the top. You know, I gotta use that extra long grain rice. Oh boy, boy. A, little, a little bit more there. Well, I know it seems like a very long process, but let me tell you something. It's well, well, well worth the wait. It's my favorite part. I'm gonna get to eating it. So look, mix some of that rice down inside there. This really is one of my favorite dishes of all time. I grew up eating this. My grandma used to make a phenomenal gumbo. Ooh, this stuff's hot. It's so hot. Mmm. 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 Love this stuff. Well, I put some French bread in the oven. Got to toast it up. This right here is one of your favorite parts right here. Break some off. Get it all nice and toasted. You just want to dip it in there. Look at this. There's some. You don't have to be from Louisiana to make something like this. You can make this anywhere in the entire country. If you want to talk about a dish that warms you up, you can't beat some chicken and sausage gumbo. And look, this is so easy. I started with the uh, smoked chicken that I cooked on a Gateway drum smoker, pulled all the meat off of it, grabbed the carcasses, dropped it in some water, and let the thing, along with some veggies, again, you know, I went over the entire list of veggies that I put in there overnight. We let the thing simmer for 10 hours overnight, building a really, really rich, flavorful chicken stock. We then took that same thing the next day, let it cool, skim the fat off the top of it, we brown our sausage. I do some uh, Louisiana smoked sausage. After that, I showed you guys how to make a roux. Then after that, from that point on, you're just building it. You add your veggies next, then you add your stock into it, and your chicken, your sausage. You adjust your seasonings along the way to where it's uh, to your liking. You might like it a little salty, you might like it a little spicier, like one more herbs in there. Like I said, one of the other things I did uh, mid-cook was I added a little bit more chicken. After I was going through a little bit, I, I figured I wanted a little bit more chicken in mind. I had another pound of some smoked chicken out of that. So that put us at a total of about four pounds of smoked chicken and about two pounds of smoked sausage. Look, this is so easy. Cook some long grain rice, toast with some French bread. Man, you can't beat that. Guys, glad to have you guys in my home this week. I might do more of these videos again. Look forward to seeing you guys next week. See you later.